Hey, what's up, Classic TV fans? My name is Rick 9 g Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Hogan's Heroes, more specifically about Colonel Clink and his monocle. What happened to it? Well, I'll tell you in this video, as well as one really interesting and unusual anecdote about it. Now, we'll get right into it. Colonel Clink was played by the amazingly talented Werner Klemper. Now, what's really interesting is that he is so different from the character that he played on Hogan's Heroes. I'm sure some of you knew that, but if you really look at any interview or him out of character, it's really amazing to see what type of a man he is. I mean, he seems very sophisticated, very articulate, very classy, uh, very polite, very well-mannered. Well, I say that is because we see the clunky, idiotic, stupid, manic, OCD type individual of Colonel Clink, and we think that that's who Werner Klemper is, and that's not necessarily true. However, there are a few things that are similar to Werner. Before I get to the monocle, I have to talk about these things. And Werner himself admitted this, that he was a manic individual, very OCD oriented. Everything has its place and things don't move. So what happened to the monocle was pretty unusual, especially for him. He was actually really sad when he told the story of what happened to the monocle that was used throughout the series of Hogan's Heroes. Hogan's Heroes ran from 1965 to 1972, and so he had the monocle for about 17 years. That is until 1989. What happened in 1989? Well, he said that he lost the monocle. He kept it with him after the show it was given to him, or it was he kept it himself, and he kept it in a case, and that case he actually put in a valise, so a type of a briefcase, which kept everything safe. He had it, as I mentioned, for almost two decades, where one day it was swiped. It was pretty much stolen. Now, he doesn't mentioned where it was stolen, whether it was his home or his office, but it was nevertheless stolen. So that original monocle from the show Hogan's Heroes is pretty much lost. Someone probably has it, someone probably pawned it, or maybe, I don't think they would melt something like that in terms of like trying to hide where it went, but probably someone has it. And you may think that's so unfortunate for Werner Klemper, but what was great was that he was on the Pat Sajak show. So Pat Sajak, of course, is the host, still the host of Wheel of Fortune. And so the show was very short lived It only ran from 1989 to 1990. And in an episode, May 5th, 1989, Pat Sajak had heard that he lost his monocle and he basically found an identical one in which Werner Klemper was just amazed to be able to see he gave it to him and he was very, very much impressed by how much it looked like him. And he went right into character, just becoming Colonel Clink, wearing the monocle. And it's such a beautiful thing to see. I'm so happy that before his life ended, he was able to reunite himself, not with the actual monocle that was used on the show, but one that was pretty much identical to it, that fit him perfectly that felt very comfortable to him and he was really surprised that he was able to keep it so i hope this little anecdote i hope this little story on clink's monocle shed a little bit of light on what happened to it of course the original one was lost it's pretty much lost at this point maybe one day it'll be recovered maybe some person will give it up someday but um yeah it's good to know that Werner had the second one so thank you so much for the support. If you are a big fan of Hogan's Heroes, don't forget to check out my Hogan's Heroes playlist. Link should be in the description. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe so that you'll never miss a video like this. Hit the notification bell as well so that you'll get a notification when I post something new. With over 1,500 videos, there's so much for you to enjoy. We'll see you next time, and don't forget, be hopeful. Thank you to everyone who supports me, especially my Diamond Tier Patrons. Vito L, David D, Sally N, Ricky, Citizen Kane 359, Kevin K, Greg S. Thank you as well to my new Gold Tier Patrons, Jennifer P and Scott F. To be listed here, check out the links below for my Patreon.